Hi, my name's Anna and today I'm cooking for you cotolette or crumbed chicken and it's my mother's recipe so I hope you really like it. My mother is from Calabria. It's right down the bottom of Italy. My cousin's daughter decided that she wanted the traditional recipes so that they could be passed down to future generations. So what she did was with her mother, she sat with her grandmother and she wrote down all the recipes. And while her grandmother wasn't looking, her mother had measuring cups because Italian mamas and nonnas do not measure. It's everything's by a handful or by eye. So now I'm coating the chicken breasts in flour and then in the egg wash mixture and lastly in the breadcrumb and parmesan mixture. Make sure that they're well coated so that when you fry them, they get a really, really nice colour on them. I'm going to be using a combination of olive oil and butter to fry the chicken. It will give it a really nice golden colour. The oil and the butter has got to be very, very hot and it won't take long to fry them at all. This is something I learned from mum and not all Calabrians do it. Mainly they use olive oil, but mum just found that using a little bit of butter just made it a little bit better, so I do it the way my mum does it. So we tweak recipes a little bit too. They've been handed down from the generations from Calabria. We tweak them a little bit, and I would imagine the same thing is done over here as well. It's a really tasty dish, but the tastiness is in what you put in it, which is love, like with any cooking. Buonissimo! My name's Chris Nestrini and I'm making my grandmother's chicken parmesan. The uniqueness of this is it's usually brought down through the ages and basically from my family there's certain pieces like what we're doing here that will actually differentiate it from another family's. Even the one across the street in Italy their sauce, their chicken parmesan, their, their food is different in small ways than another family's, which is the uniqueness of the Italian cooking. So we use a little wine for the eggs and we use a little wine for the cook. Adding wine to the eggs, it adds a little bit of a base for the egg, plus the wine flavor I really like and it was also something that my grandmother did. Every Saturday after baseball, the whole family got together over grandma's house and we basically had a family lunch and dinner. So I was fascinated with grandma's cooking because it was incredible and uh, I watched. I just watched and listened and uh, she did things so naturally. That's why I don't stress out when it comes to cooking. And another good use for the wine, you check your oil. If it splatters like that, it's ready. My grandmother felt that the actual sauce, the, the tomatoes themselves, were a little boring. So in order to create a bit more of a base, she created that layered process, which ultimately creates a more robust flavor for the sauce. There's olive oil, there's white wine, there's chicken stock, and then ultimately um, the herbs. So very Palermo or Sicilian oriented are the red peppers obviously the garlic, and then bay leaf, and some love. You layer that base, and then you just reduce it, so it intensifies the flavors. The line shows you when the, the sauce is thick enough to be able to incorporate into the tomato sauce without making it too loose. Laramo is in the southern part of Italy. They call it the boot, or the soccer ball on the boot. Southern Italian cooking has more uniqueness from normal Northern Italian cooking because of its impact from the, the way it was conquered, not conquered. So it has a lot of influence from basically Africa and those African influences are spiciness. Palermo cooking or Southern Italian cooking is generally more spicy than Northern Italian cooking. I think food creates the base of any nationality you know your memories your really the substance of your family as a whole is connected to not only the heritage but the family recipes and in some cases they're guarded they're protected in other cases 
the new generation becomes incredibly intimidated from it. So my suggestion would be to ultimately enjoy it. Try to take that base that your grandma created and make it your own. You'll start the new tradition. All right. Bellissimo. La 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 Figaro. Oh, yes!